Uh, hi guys, I'll be explaining the problem D for the code process round 736, diff 2. Uh, the problem statement says that uh, you are given an array and you want to find a subarray of that array and uh, it should follow a certain property. The property is that there should exist some integer m such that uh, for that particular subarray, if you mod all the elements by m, uh, the value is same. Okay, so the idea is that suppose there some answer exists to uh, for the given array. Suppose uh, the blue container is the actual array and the green one is the answer. And you know, uh, if we modulo all of them by some value m, we get the same thing. So what we can do is we can write all of these elements in this form. So we have to find a subarray which satisfies this property. It looks like this. But you know, I don't know this M. I don't know this lambda. So I want to eliminate them. This is what I thought that I should try to eliminate them. So what I did is, how do you eliminate lambda first of all? You can eliminate lambda by uh, taking the difference between adjacent elements. So if you do that, you will be left with something like uh, m into a1 minus a2 or a2 minus a1. Minus. The next would be m into a3 minus a2. The next would be m into uh, a4 minus a3 and so on. The idea is that we got, if we you know, take the difference, we will have the array, the green array, something like this where we have some common value m and multiplied with something else. What I can see here is that if I take the GCD of all these elements, it would be m into something, m into some k. Can be m into k, k can also be 1, k can be anything. It depends, you know, on this. It also depends on this parenthesis thing. Thing is that m cannot be 1. So the the idea is that the GCD should be greater than one. So if I can, you know, find any subarray, um, if I can find any subarray which has a GCD of elements greater than one, then that is one of my potential answers. Now you can th say like uh, I said that you know the GCD would be m into k. The GCD might come out to be let's say ten, but m might be one and uh, you know, it's coming 10 because of this parenthesis thing. That's fine because I would just replace my m with 10 into m or k into m. So, like if it satisfies for m equals to 1, it would also satisfy the same thing would also be satisfied work for m, uh, m equals to 10 or m, m, m equals to m into k. So, um, just you only have to check if the GCD is greater than one. Now, how I did that, like one approach which which came to my mind is, um, when you are given this array, you first of all convert it into a array with consecutive differences. So, if it's like I'll take the example diff case. Um, if the array is one five no, two four six convert it into 4 minus 3 2 and uh, 2 now in this basically you have to find any subarray uh, which has uh, the gcd greater than 2 greater than 1 so here you can see that you no know, this subarray has a gcd greater, greater than 2 greater than 1 and uh, gcd is basically 2 here and uh, if this is the ith index, suppose this is start, this is the end point, then the total number of elements in this array would actually be uh, n minus start plus 2 because you, know, you are taking consecutive differences, so you will have to add one extra. Okay, so the first way uh, which gave a TLE for me, I am not really sure why, is I created a segment tree and what I would do is, you know, I would iterate through this difference array. 
I would suppose this is my first index. I am here. Then I would do a binary search. I would the idea is that suppose I have my mid here set here. I will check that here is the GCD of this range one like greater than one. If it is, then you know this is one of the potential answers, and I would uh, like search to the right. Else I will search to the left. Okay, so you can create a segmentary and you can do it like this, but it gave me a TLE. Uh, I think the complexity for calculating GCD is also uh, like segmentary would be log n, then binary search would again be log n. Then you're doing it for n elements and then it suppose it's log of 10 to power 18 for calculating the GCD. So maybe uh, these things they cause a TLE. The second way also uses a segmentary, but I Think it's a bit more optimized it passed for me like it can't fail in the system test system test uh, the contest is, is uh, still going so i don't know if it will uh, pass or not but it has been accepted so the idea is you use segment trees and you use sliding window concept now what, what do i mean by that um, what you can do is you can take this array 4 minus 3 2 2 and you can have your start and end pointers here no uh, what no what you will do is basically um, you will first check is the gcd from start to end uh, you know greater than 1 or not uh, if it is greater than 1 then the answer would be like maximum of answer in end minus start plus 2 then you have two options either you extend the sliding window or you shrink it so uh, no, how do i know which one i have to do i will see that you know if i extend it then my current gcd is 4 and my new gcd would be gcd of 4 and minus 3 which would be 1 so it's useless to extend it i should rather shrink it so start will now move from here to here but since start cannot be greater than end so end will also move here then um, again my I, I will check is the gcd one it's not one it's greater than one since i am searching in the same range i'll update my answer i will see can i expand i cannot extend i can then i will have to shrink so my start will again go here and end will also go here then here i know i can extend so it will go here so now you know my answer is this the thing is that uh, when you extend you can calculate the new gcd by you know doing your current gcd and taking the gcd with the next element array of i plus one or array of n plus one but when you are trying to shrink i i i did not know how to you know calculate the gcd then when i'm when i'm trying to shrink my array because i'm losing an element so in that case i just use segment trees to uh, recalculate the current gcd in log n time log n into log of can give or 18 something like this yeah so this is uh, my solution for it i will also uh, attach the um, code in the description uh, thank you for watching bye